Hey guys, be sure to like and subscribe. Today we're going to be talking about water in the Philippines. Drinking water, shower water, everything. We're going to cover the whole gamut. Anyway, what I want to do is say this. is Most of the water here that comes from the tap is not drinkable. Okay? You shouldn't be drinking the water from the tap. In Manila they say it's drinkable, but I, I would question that because of the pipe systems and stuff there. Um, everywhere else they say that the water is, for the most part, not drinkable. There are people that drink it and people that cook their food in it. I don't recommend that. Um, we have something here called blue jug water. What it is is you go to these, these like little outlets or stores and they sell jugs of water. And they have different prices in different towns, so I'm not even going to go. But what you do is you kind of buy a jug and they refill it for you. And then when you bring it back, they give you another jug. So you, you kind of, you know, you have, it's kind of like a... Um, returnable jug I guess you know like it, it has like a deposit on it but anyway you you buy that jug and it comes with the with the water in it and when you're done with it you just bring it back there they give you another one each time okay that water is all filtered it's totally drinkable it's it's good water you can wash your fruits and vegetables with it if you want or you can use the tap water too to do that it's not really that bad when you know, the tap water usually washes all the junk off of it and the, the water falls away. So there's not too much like in the, in the germ thing. If you're wiping it afterwards with a towel or a, a cloth or something like that that you have around the house, you, you, you're not going to get hurt by the water here. I mean, most people wash their dishes with it. We shower with it. And we're all okay, you know. So a lot of people that are asking, you know, hey, is it safe to wash vegetables with your um, tap water? Yes. For the most part, yes. You can use your blue jug water too if you're if you're really picky and you feel like it, you know it might be safer doing that, but there's really no need. Okay, if there's anything you want to wash off here, um, it would be the tops of your cans, uh, soda bottles, and stuff like that when they come into the house. Wash them off with tap water because there's a lot of animals and stuff that run across these things, and you know anything that's in a can you want to wash the top of it before you open it so none of the stuff in the top go, goes in with with the, the, the water that you have here. Now, showers. Some people worry about showers. Showers isn't an issue here. The water's clean enough for that. You can also buy these uh, charcoal f filter um, heads that go on the shower. You can probably order those probably through Lazada or, or some of the um, online sites here too. I have seen them around. I know that they have them. I've even seen them in a couple of the stores around here. They show up on occasion, but they're charcoal shower heads. You can put those up there. That might help a little bit. You know, I'm not sure how much, but the, the water here is okay for showers. It's no problem, you know, because you're using soap and everything, and the water is already filtered somewhat at the water filtration plant, so, but it's not filtered enough for you to really drink it, okay? Now, here's the other thing. You can buy, like, spring water or, or filtered water in five-gallon jugs, just like back, back home in Western countries. They have those big round bottles that you put on top of the, the water machine, and you can get hot or cold water out of them. You can get those here. You can find them. And most of, the, most of the supermarkets have them. Some do, some don't. You might have to look around sometimes. I know S&R had them for a while. I, think, I believe they still do. And you can buy those machines with the hot and cold water too. So that's just another idea out there, you know. Um, as far as like the blue jugs though, you know, if you don't want to get into the blue jug thing, okay, or you don't want to be buying water all the time, you can buy water filters out there through Ace, Ace Hardware, and as many other places you can order them from, too. You can order them online. But Ace has the replacement filters, okay? And you just buy the replacement filters, and you put them in, and you write the date on a piece of tape when you should change it and stuff like that. Those filters, if you don't use a lot of water, they should last you a long time, much longer than they say that they should be, okay? So if, if you don't have a big family, it's just you and your girlfriend or something like that, you're probably not using a lot of water. So it might last you like a couple years, you know, in some cases. Each filter has a different life. Like a charcoal filter might have one a life different than like a, um, a sediment filter or something like that. You know, and they have filters that kill all the germs and stuff which have like silver impregnated in it and stuff like that or copper or something. You know, but each filter is different. There's like, I think they go up to like four filters on some of those some of those filtration machines. You also have to figure out, do you just need a, a sediment filter? Maybe your water's not that bad. Maybe you're in Manila and maybe it's like kind of sedimenty, but the water's clean. You can get it tested or something like that and see, you know, 
whether it's good or bad water. You can eat this testing around here, I'm sure. I'm sure you can figure out, you know, whether the water's good. But I myself would go with like the most filtration you can possibly get. You can also buy those Brita water filters. I don't recommend those because I don't think you're getting enough water filtration for the water here. I think you need some really, really good water filters. And I think you need like the three or four is the, is the best way to go. You know, I think three would probably be, would suffice. I think you'd be safe with, with the three. Um, they hook up to your faucet and you can turn it on so you can pour yourself a glass of water or, or pour some into a, a pan or whatever for cooking, things like that. Um, I wouldn't put in a, a whole in-house filter because that's gonna get very costly because if you're taking showers without water and everything else, it gets costly replacing those filters after a while because then you're gonna to have to replace your filters more because if you're taking showers and everything, it's a whole different ball game then, okay? Um, you can also get um, distillers, okay? Distillers get a little expensive. You can get them on Lazada, they're different prices. I don't recommend the distillers because then you're starting to talk about big electric bills you know, it starts getting, you know, a little bit more expensive. You have to buy the, the distiller too. Um, are they good? Yes, if you want really super, super clean water, then that's the way to go. But I think a filtration, a small filtration plant would be fine. I think you'd be good with that and you'd be ready to go. But, you know, around here, don't drink the water from the faucet. Although people do, and although people use it for cooking and everything, don't. Use your blue water. Use your filtered water, use your distilled water, but don't drink from the faucet. You know, um, I know people cook with it, but you don't know if there's chemicals in there, or you don't know what, what gets past their filtration system. You, don't, you just don't know what's in the city water or your town water around here, okay? Um, the wells around here, unless your well's been tested, I wouldn't drink well, well water from around here, unless you're way out in the provinces or something like that. Just be careful, guys, you know, but anyway, Definitely, definitely have some sort of filtration of your water. Even if it's just a Brita that has something that kills the germs or something like that, that would probably be enough, you know, but I, I myself would want more than that. I myself buy, buy the blue water jugs. We buy the blue water jugs and that suffices for our household. That's all we really need. We don't have any problems with getting sick around here from, from anything because we, we wash everything pretty good. And like I said, the faucet water is okay for washing your dishes. It's okay for washing things around the house. You should be fine with that. It's okay for taking baths, so don't worry about that. I've had people ask me all these different questions about the water around here. And why, you know, if you can't drink it, why can you wash your fruits and vegetables with it? Well, you're washing off most of the stuff with it. Is it going to leave behind a lot of stuff? Probably not. You know, if you wipe it afterwards or, you know, it just, it just doesn't. You know, there's not that many germs in the water unless you're drinking like a glass full or something like that. Then you're probably going to get sick. You know, if you get a little bit in your mouth from taking a shower or something like that, you're probably not going to get sick. You know, I've, I've never gotten sick here. I take showers every day with it. You know, does it ca cause any other problems? No, it doesn't, you know. The, our water here in Tracy Martires, I must say, is, is pretty decent, you know. Even though I still wouldn't use it for cooking or drinking, it's pretty decent water here, you know. But anyway, guys... You know, take when you get over here, or if you're here already, you're worried about your water, go to Ace Hardware. Ace Hardware has a, a ton of water filtration stuff there, and they're very reasonable. You can buy filters. And guys, when you buy those filtration systems, make sure you buy some water filters in advance in case that they, they stop making those filters or something like that. You want to have, like, probably two or three of each filter, you know, when you leave that place. I would at least just to make sure you get your money's worth out of it. You know, so make sure you have those extra filters around the house so when you go to change them, you have them. You know, you don't want to have to keep showing up to um, Ace Hardware, then Ace Hardware doesn't have it in stock or something, which is pretty common in the Philippines. So that's why I say, if you're gonna, if you're gonna get one of those filtration plants, go all out, buy some extra filters, and, and try to time it correctly. Like, with, you might need to buy four of one and two of another because one might need to be replaced every six months. One might need to be repla replaced every year or something like that. Ask them how long before you have to replace the filters on them so you can kind of time and figure out how many you need to have, okay? I'm sure you guys understand what I'm talking about because some filters might be six months, some might be three months, some might be a year because some of the filters do last longer than the others. So just be aware of that, guys. You can hear the cicadas down here. They just started up. But anyway, guys, God bless. Take care. I hope that helps answer your questions, guys, because I know I got a lot of 
questions about that, guys. But God bless, guys. Take care.